you guys yes today ugh, did i really just pick that up on camera but anyways today i have a new angle and uh it's at my table so uh you know, you're gonna start seeing in the back of my room in my creepy closet i'm gonna Okay, uh, that's actually really creepy, but, uh, anyways, today we are going to be talking about the Mandela Effect, and basically, I'll explain to you what the Mandela Effect is, okay, so basically, the Mandela Effect, I'm gonna put music over that so you don't hear the crying, but basically, what the Mandela Effect is, is, uh, is uh basically the what the mandela can do it's like let's say uh like you have a certain memory of something and then you look back and it never happened i know but i'll explain it to you again it's like you have a memory you remember something that happened like anything it could be something stupid but it could be it could be actually something really important but it never happened and the reason that it's named the mandela effect is because something Mandela, some guy, it was John Mandela or something? Edward Mandela. Mr. Mandela. John Mandela or something. Something like that. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down there. But uh, basically, the reason why it's called a Mandela effect is because uh, people remember the guy Mandela, whatever his name, like first name and then Mandela, but they remember this guy dying years ago like years years ago and then and then after he died in like 2013 or something correct me if i'm wrong if i'm wrong i'll just put like a star and then like the real thing right here probably but uh he people remember him dying years ago but then he died in like 2013 or something and everybody's like wait i thought you already died oh, i thought you already died and then it turns out yeah no i know really scary <laughs> but that's why i'm here to talk about it oh okay so this is one that scares me a little bit because uh we all know we all remember the berenstein bears uh so if you don't know what the berenstein bears is you're living under a rock because that was a huge thing i have a book about them somewhere in here and if you know who I am, they're really popular in America. I don't know about the UK or something. I don't know about the UK, mate. But everybody who knows, you, we, it's always been, like, it's for sure always been Berenstein Bears, right? Berenstein Bears, the popular group. Berenstein Bears, the family of bears, all of that, okay? Berenstein Bears. It's always been Berenstein Bears. And then we find out it's actually been Berenstain Bears. You're meaning to tell me that we all remember this book. Like, this book was actually very popular. You're, you're meaning to tell me we all said Berenstain Bears. You're meaning to tell me this is wrong. I don't know if that's backwards or not. That's an A right there. Berenstain. No, that is wrong. That is wrong. No. On the book, Berenstain, Berenstain, no, it's not Berenstain. I don't know why, no, it's Berenstain. And I'm going to tell you a story about this, okay. Look at this, okay. Look, read the top, I don't know if it's backwards or not. Uh, Berenstain Bears. Berenstain, maybe if I turn it upside down. Be no. Berenstain Bears, the creepiest thing ever. But I'm going to tell you a story about something that a man found. Okay, so there's this guy who looked through his closet, like dig deep, I mean not in his closet, in his garage, and he found, uh, what was it? He found a really, really old tape of the Berenstain Bears. Berenstain, again, I don't know. What's wrong with the world these days? I don't know. But he looked through, and on the front cover, it said Berenstain Bears. No surprise, right? Because... Uh, it said Berenstain Bears, just like this book says, okay? And, um, uh, but whenever you look on the, like, whenever you turn it over, like, 
like this, whenever you turn the thing over, it said Berenstein Bears. And listen, I don't have the editor to like insert a picture right here. I don't know how right now, but uh, I use an Android, so I can't use CubeCut Pro or anything. But it said Berenstein Bears. B A R E N S T E I N. That's just adding a lot more proof to the Mandela effect. But let's go to a different Mandela effect. Okay, so we all remember this movie. It was actually really popular. My mom likes it. It's called Sex in the City. Sex in the City. Okay? It's Sex in the City, right? No, you're wrong. It's actually always been sex and the city. Bruh. I can't, I, I can't even, I can't even process that. Uh, I can't like, I can't what? Like, no, it's never been that. There's no. Sorry guys, there's no way, that was it, there's no, there's absolutely no way, like I, uh, and there's actually this YouTube channel called The Whole World's Watching, and he has a collection of all this stuff, like perfumes, cups, makeup, stuff like this, fan, he has like posters, and they all say sex in the city, not sex in the city, and we, and he was like, no, y'all are probably thinking, oh he's a graphic designer, that's creepiest thing ever that's so creepy but anyways uh wow i just really can't believe how that's happening right now but uh okay let's move on to a different day okay by the way this video is inspired by shane dawson so okay so i'm sure we all know the brand febreze you know uh, Febreze, it's always been, hold on, it's always been F-E-B-R-E-E-Z-E, -E -E, right? We all remember it's that, right? F-E-B-R-E-E-Z-E, -E -E, right? Isn't that how y'all remember it? Well, I'm sad to tell you this, but you're wrong. It's always been Febreze, F-E-B-R-E-Z-E. -E no, there, no, I remember it as two E's. F-E-B-R-E-Z-E. -E. That's, no, you don't spell Febreze like that. Like that, no, why? Okay, that is just, like, Febreze, it sounds like two E's. You're meaning to tell me that's only one E? Mandela effect. All right, on to our last one. We have one that wasn't in Shane Dawson's videos, I don't think, because... What right now we're going to be talking about Skechers. Everybody knows what Skechers are, right? Oh, old matey Skechers. But uh, we all know what Skechers is. The shoes brand. It's the shoe thingy. Okay, I'm about to blow your mind. Like prepare to have your mind blow up and just throw it onto the wall. Okay, this is so what to me because okay so we all remember sketchers as being spelled s-k-e-t-c-h-r-s there's always been a t in the t-c-h-e-r-s right there's always been a t in sketchers sketchers that's where the t was like it was a t and then c-h-e-r-s i'm gonna tell you again no no you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. This is... Okay, I used to wear Skechers when I was little. And I always remembered it as Skechers. No, no. It's always been Skechers. S-K-E-C-H-E-R-S. <laughs> what? S-K-E-C-H-R-E-R-S? What? No. No. S-K-E-C-H-E-R-S? That's... Oh, my God. Just search up pictures of Febreze. It'll say F-E-B-R-E-Z-E. -E and uh, if you search up Skechers, I've seen pictures that say S-K-E-T-C-H-E-R-S. It's, it's just mind-blowing to me how... Oh! All right, you guys, that's all I have for this video. 
if you did enjoy it, give a like. If you are new, then subscribe because I make new videos either daily or weekly. I haven't uploaded in a week, but uh, if you did enjoy this video, give a like, and I'm gonna edit longer than I should. But any guys, but any guys. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Is uh basically the what the Mandela effect is. It's like, let's say, uh, like you have a certain memory of something, and then you look back, and it never happened. I know, but I'll explain it to you again. It's like you have a memory, you remember something that happened, like anything, it could be something stupid, but it could affect, is because uh, people remember the guy Mandela, whatever his name, with like first name and then Mandela, but they remember that guy dying years ago, like years, years ago. And then, and then after he died in like 2013 or something, correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll just put like a star and then like the real thing right here probably. But uh, he, people remember him dying years ago. You guys, yes, today, ugh, did I really just pick that up on camera? But anyways, today I have a new angle. And uh, it's at my table, so uh, you're going to start seeing in the back of my room in my creepy closet. I'm going to adjust that. So, uh, okay. Uh, that's actually really creepy. But it could, be, it could be actually something really important, but it never happened. And the reason that it's named the Mandela Effect is because something Mandela, some guy, it was John Mandela or something? Edward Mandela. Mandela. John Mandela or something. Something like that. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down there. But uh, basically, the reason why it's called a Mandela. Uh, anyways, today we are going to be talking about the Mandela Effect. And basically, I'll explain to you what the Mandela Effect is. Okay, so basically, the Mandela Effect I'm gonna put music over that so you don't hear the crying. But basically what the Mandela effect is, is uh, 